The next Starship rocket to attempt orbit is fully stacked and waiting on the pad. Falcon 9 hits a personal best, and Dragon brings the shoots. I'm Kevin, and this is SpaceX in the News. Starship 25 was moved down Highway 4 to the launch site on Monday night in Boca Chica, Texas, and was stacked upon Booster 9 the following day. This is the second Starship Super Heavy rocket that will attempt a launch to orbit. Elon posting, she's all ready to go. They're just waiting for FAA license approval. And according to the government agency, it could be a minute, publicly noting that the investigation into the company's previous orbit attempt mishap remains open. And SpaceX will not receive authorization until they demonstrate compliance with all regulatory requirements stemming from the license modification process. And so the notice to Mariners, previously anticipating liftoff no earlier than September 8th, has officially been postponed. But in the meantime, there's still other stuff to do. On Thursday morning, the next ship in line, 26, was also moved on site and lifted onto suborbital pad B so teams can squeeze in some stress testing prior to 25-9's big boomage. And up the street, they're still making renovations at the construction site to streamline the new Starship assembly line, as well as painting nose cones for the HLS program. On Saturday morning, Falcon 9 was launched from the west coast, carrying 13 payloads to low Earth orbit for Space Development Agency's second Tranche Zero mission. The space vehicles launched during this mission will serve a part of SDA's proliferate warfighter space architecture, a new layered network of satellites in low Earth orbit and supporting elements that will provide global military communication and missile warning, indication, and tracking capabilities. The first stage booster flew for its 13th time, landing back at LZ-4 to fly another day. And there's that confirmation of landing burn start. This burn should last just around 15 seconds or so. Elon offered up his congratulations to the SpaceX team for this 61st mission of the year, aiming for 10 Falcon flights in a month by its end, then 12 per month next year. Stage one landing confirmed. In the following day, the company surpassed 2022's flight count with their 62nd mission of the year for their Starlink constellation, launching Falcon from Pad 39A at the Kennedy Space Center, Florida. It was a 10th flight for this booster, touching down on the autonomous drone ship, just read the instructions, jiving on the Atlantic. There is another Starlink mission scheduled for tonight at 7.56 p.m. Eastern. And finally, Crew-6 wrapped up their six-month stay at the space station, undocking on Saturday to begin their trip back to Earth. Roughly 17 hours later, their Dragon capsule entered the atmosphere, creating sky skid marks, before popping Droke Shoots Bra to slow and stabilize the spacecraft, which in turn pulled the four mains free, allowing them to gently plop down in the sea. Well, we're gonna end it with the shoots today. Thanks for stopping by. And do have a nominal weekend. Until next Friday, Godspeed.